akacha afra botu se oyin pa bi ensho na afi no adna afa ka no ho adan adan so fu na ka ka won semwe no me mani pa hu won tro from now to the end of December, month, month, ten to two can rough rough. But bro, you are doing me here. It's coming here quite different. Me now, I'm not doing me drive. We feel that me quite. I say, me take Obi, Obi from here. Oh, you're fast. I'm saying, hey, I roll him now. You're fast. You want to be feeling too? So acrobat, what's the video? To be your chairman, I'm calling Papa. You found something. God have revealed something to you, and you want to share with me. You have to make it a showmanship and tell the whole country that I'm about to die. Which of course I'm not afraid. But you are not Papa now. Post you could just have announced on Tim Ukwane Tim Kwasi just on Sunday, mum. And in your room, we have nothing. We need to be here. I'm telling you. We are talking about communication of such prophecies that will end up creating fear and panic in our society, which is unwarranted. Obusia for one Ghana TV and Amohe Mobibia Aqua Ba. Any name said Nanse Muhonum and Am Shatawale so Ama IGP Dampare and the Ghana police at the Mrabi Betuho Emma Sofwa or Mushen Koma Emma Yam Shishi Uwu Hun Kom and Yam Kom Tro IGP and the Penning for at the normal at Tua Quem. Now last year, November, before Christmas, no, Tofu be a beshe a cobeto Hun Kom Ah and Kom Shano HS be Obenya car accident. Sofu no eke can. Sembi bre, yebe kwa kuti sofu no ensem na akobe tu ababe respondi ya wo chile se eh, enyano kreda o kasa mo bie hun se sofu no ye trufu o ene ene buo fu yi pa a wo chile se ono e wo tuk ni kade da enye sofu no ne eba abe bonu hun inti wo manko fuwe hun se eh, obisha wo nkom hun hun sa a nyahon toso ne ni pakuro no wonye nyame elu nti ye nko tiye sofu no se di wo si ka an ensem no a e ma akobe tu e buo fu a respondi no ye ba ni akuti akrobeto so so ni nsem ni responsa o de ma asofo no na ewia ni akuti igp na nsem ho so so ni responsa o de ama efa se wa ban ni prophecies amafo o chese wa ban ni prophecies no o respond ye nyina ye hu bi na so e besa akuti igp ye nkoti sofo na o she akrobeto ho nkom ni ma akache akrobeto se onimpa mimi e fanti ntitenie onimpa bi ensho na afi no adna afa ka no ho Mother for the car. Mm. Yes. Car. Car yet in a Catch our crab or De. O be a son if you mean can a binom one no son. O you pay me a son if you. So our crab or trust me to make your chimney on corn papa. Apostle could disaffor. No uncle be said, I swear me come and be an answer, Mamboa. When I'm saying coffee, I was sure free, we are on coffee free. No. But you are not a person who is 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 a no, I'm sure she's not sure. That's why I'm making me go. From now to December ending, more time to do crime rough, rough. What? What? Gonna have to make a change. Very good. I know. 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 I before they be from November, me nyia la gen interview more than one week rather. The beer me the kai me kwata kwale na me fiku mase na me bakra. Ejuma dren. Eti me me ntu ka me ko tu ele ai. En kom se bia emwa eni so ade hunu bia emfa hwema. So wo tu mia wuri tu me se me papa me so no ko jesa fu no. Papa wo si kwasi, je me bia me wura na ye de wo ye. Me pa cho. And yet, I said, Mimi, you're a baby, you're a baby, and Cassadu and a boss, so we're to be in Kubabia. Babu, I do my years, come in a great different. Mena, and I do not make travel, we fell in the crowd. I said, Mete, Obi, Obi, from the end, or your fast, I mean, hey, a road in my fast, you want to be fever too. Would you not do your fever too, or your fast, I mean, me more for me feel out to you? Because men pass us in the net yet. Now, quite fast, they say, I'm not a crazy, wouldn't want the abomin. What are you tell me? Me pa kujusa wati kwezi ya jumadre. E wu di obe wu. 
Be bien tu sais où me ministre accident. Où est le accident? Où mon stream? Last year, où est le dit où address un coup de main de 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 un me okay chem say me wu i go there me wu because e wu one me wu kura me me ntia se me am tie me wu am ntia se e tu sofu na ka wu nsem we no me mani pa hu won tro e se bibi kura to me anya wo e no amana ba e no nya wu hu no we you have nothing we need to me be a wo i'm telling you father i pass go yourself i just tell you us i end the story here obi am for me de nyen hu fitu e mu obi nka se men sha wo so na ema en top form na ntido oyo would be a wunyai wujai us i end here with bad greetings despite she despite and seven want you to kwa do koso i dey pa e dey man we born ko for e do pa we you are soft for fine obi nka tenyen soft for but don't say what you don't know us i end here with bad greetings Akobeto ana ne bo funu who knows tomorrow say one no he don't feel who they are so for nick kan nyina e tro agp dam pare na nsan mu ho no ma eh penimfo etoto na no kakra o chechiri mu say ono o mbra ankom hye o mbra ankom hye na eh no ma na e wode etoto akwan because ono anka samu no kra no na onya agp an hye no honkom o be agp ene abe hye no honkom na manfo o se ene na jegezi ji e no na na sen o be hye agp honkom you go to agp in response our dem about prophecies no emra mr agp uh is there a ban on false prophecies because uh you know it's creating a lot of fear you know, and panic in the system. You know, so I want to know whether uh, there's a law or, you know, what, whatever the police is doing to at least, you know, minimize the, the prophecies, you know, from... Huh? A lot of them are false, especially, you know... Huh? <laughs> okay. And I would say... It's a very difficult question for me. But as a Christian and somebody who also believes in prophecies, and by extension, I'm a prophet in my own right. Because as a son of God, God will always have the opportunity to have engagement with you and tell you things in the future, if only you are ready to listen. But all the issues that we have been putting across as an institution is to prove to everybody that we are not against prophecies. We are talking about communication of such prophecies that will end up creating fear and panic in our society, which is unwarranted. Honorable Chair, it's a simple matter. And it's a very simple matter. And truly, it's a very simple matter. And what is it? Honorable Chair, before I became IGP, nobody prophesied about me. Now my GP, everybody is prophesizing about me. I have no problem with it because I'm a public figure. But why should it be such that you found something, God has revealed something to you and you want to share with me? You have to make it a showmanship and tell the whole country that I'm about to die, which of course I'm not afraid. Because the only thing I'm afraid of is birth. Because if you don't want to die, you shouldn't allow yourself to be bad. So once I have been born, I'm going to die. So as for death, the only thing I can do is probably become a friend of it so that he can treat me with some leniency. <laughs> but the point is that you go and make such an announcement across the whole world. And I have a wife. I have children. I have a parent who is alive and have family members. So every day, when I live in my house, and I always get up around 3 a.m., up around 3 a.m., and today I slept up to 5 a.m., my wife will be thinking that I'm dead. <laughs> and this is something she is going to live with 
for the rest of her life. And why is it that God himself decided not to tell us when we are going to die? It means a lot. And even there, if you have prophecies about somebody dying, you have even have a way in our typical Ghanaian environment, put it even in Proverbs, for the person to decipher it. But I don't put fear and panic in the person, in the person's immediate family, in the person's extended family, in the whole country. And the question is that, Rabuche, you are all elected to be members of parliament by our votes. And therefore, you have been empowered by the constitution and other laws to make certain proclamations, which is acceptable. But those who are prophets, who elected them over my life? <laughs> who elected them over my life? To just get out there and make pronouncement about me where I'm not a member of your family, I'm not your church member, and probably the person might not be even believing in God. And how can a family meet and that family is not thinking about eight members, but is thinking about outside people who are not related to the family and be able to get revelation about those people and share it out there to create cause, I mean, cause fear and panic. And the point, another point, all this matter, we have decided not to talk about it. We are deep-seated Christians that we don't joke with godliness. But we also will not allow anybody to use God to create a mess and confusion because God is not a God of confusion and God is not a God of disorderliness. Thank you. So the final point we are making is that honorable chair, imagine somebody says that from the beginning of this year so the time we are in Easter 90% of markets in Accra are going to be bent. And he it says it's a prophecy. Nobody has appointed you to go and make that communication. Imagine how many people will be going to the market every day thinking that they will don't come back. Imagine they come to say that you travel from Accra to Kumasi in the first half of the year. There will be 1,000 accidents and almost about 1,000 people will die. Imagine what will happen. So the only point we are saying is that we don't know what language God speaks and who interprets it for who. But the point is that if God speaks to you and then you go out there, find us the same God to give you guidance as to how it should be communicated, that will not affect the life of individuals in a manner that will put them in fear, put their media family in fear, the extended family in fear, the country in fear. Why is at the same time making sure that when it all settles, you ask yourself the same God can give direction on the same matter differently? So all what we are saying is this. We are not against prophecies. Go ahead, prophesy, but when God speaks to you, carry it in a manner that will ensure the sanctity of our nation called Ghana. And that is simplicity. Hello, any aqua kuti abano for comment bro comment session like and subscribe to the channel one Ghana TV. And do be as it said Moshe you can for tap tap send amount. Yeah Ojo What's on this canal? Okay, any mamma check them in fro. Kaish! A soon tap tap send party jack. Mama we are saying can you hey mama daba offer patch on my man fro. You know what when you have to say Masuya yes shouldn't nana not day say baby I'm a tea to me. I will fast send him a I think I see what we can see this can. Oh, you're the buy and so I'm going to buy and I'm going to buy. I feel like I'm going to buy a transaction or order. Ah! Debbie. And catch you, bro. Catch you off, I say. On download do tap tap send. So on download do tap tap send that or send this camera wire. I'm about to send mobile money and our bank account is simple. Tap tap send. Yeah, tap tap send. Now, what okay. Tap tap send it here. We are here for another baby. We are so what Europe and us America, Canada. So, we are Android, so we are iPhone. And once we download the app, not two phones. In the process, maybe we are going promo code. Now, we are going to go to Ghana, Asheho, and Basa automatically. We are going to go to 5 pounds and 5 euros. And we are going to go to Europe. So, we are going to go to Canada. We are going to go to $10 for free. We are going to go to Canada. We are going to go to Canada. Tap tap send it here. No fee. Hey, they just say, okay, yo. Tap tap send. Pop, 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 pop